Hello everyone. How are you? Um, I just want to make a quick video. Just want to show you one of my digital download packs and um, because I think it's pretty and I want to just to show you what you can do with it, the uses. And is it called First Communion Cards? And it comes with three pages full of uh, cards, and they're very colorful and they're pretty. And I printed the, I didn't change the size or anything. And um, I will show you what I did. But first, let me show you the original ones. Those are the original ones. And I don't know if you can see, but they're so pretty. This is, it's a vellum paper. And um, it's, I don't know if you can see, but it's gold. You can see the gold on the digital downloads when you print, but they're so pretty and um, not all of them are gold but they are so pretty and they are this one I think it's silver I don't know if you can see but they're very pretty and they are original they are all mine um, where I had my first communion we used to make little cards with our names and on the day that we had the first communion, we used to trade the card with, with our other friends. And um, I covered some of the names. I don't want to show the name of the person and the last name. In this case, I didn't cover because it's Carolina and there's no last name, so there's no problem. But some of the names are in the back and I didn't have to cover because I just... Um, um, printed the the front I just copied the front of the cards but they're very pretty see they have gold on it and um, they're all mine and from my friends and from my family also I have them um, they are from the 70s and there are a few from the 60s the 60s and they are original they're vintage so they the color you know there's some yellow in some of them but those are the original cards and what i did was i printed in the regular size and i made some little cards and tags using them and they're gonna be beautiful if you have like a prayer book or a Bible journal, or you know, if you want to do anything more religious, I think they're pretty. So with this one, I made a a tag and I stitched it around. I have fabric. Then I had a place for journaling in the back. And for this one, I also made a kind of journaling card place. For you to journal in the back and this one the same this one i stitch it the other one i stitch it too but this one i added fabric and a flower here and uh, i covered the back so you can journal and with those two i actually made a card so i just got an envelope and um I glue it on scrap paper and I decorate it with a flower so it's a nice cute card if you want to give to someone and this one I actually had a card that I was not using I didn't like it so uh, this is the envelope and I made I covered the original card and I made a little card and you can write it in the inside and uh, I just added a sticker in the back because I had the name of the card and I did, you know, I made this one so I had to cover it and so this is what I did and I just wanted to share with you I didn't 
made them look vintage or anything I did any stain on the corners but you can do that if you like it I just wanted to try something different that's why I I kept them as they are because they already are with the yellow from you know because they're vintage so they're old I guess um, so I hope you guys like it and um, if you have any questions just let me know and thank you so much for watching thank you bye